Yeah, hi guys. Uh, you know, earlier today there were about 600 customers who were without power here in Guilford. I just checked Eversource's outage website. It's now down to about 200, and it's a really good thing that crews are making this progress now because, as Rachel was saying, we are expecting the wind gusts to pick up throughout the day. But right now, really no wind to speak of. I'm able to have my umbrella out with no problems. That wasn't the case, though, for earlier today. We're here live at the Guilford uh, Town Green, and you can see some of the caution tape that's surrounding some chopped up tree branches branches from one of the large limbs of this tree that fell uh, taking out some of these Halloween displays. Tuesday brought heavy rain and strong wind. Actually, I love extreme weather, so this to me is kind of nice. Got lunch, going to hunker down and uh, probably try to avoid being outside as much as possible. Eversource had their eyes on southeastern Connecticut. The afternoon and evening is expected to be a very challenging one. While United Illuminating took care of their customers in the southwest. Tonight we will have uh, staffing overnight with additional crews. The utilities working hand in glove with municipalities like Madison, where transformer explosions snarled the morning commute. Actually between about 9 and 9.30 we had a, a rash of wires down, power outages, trees down. Uh, really quickly for about a half hour. As the day wore on, DPW crews crisscrossed Killingworth, <laughs> unclogging this culvert near Saltpeter Brook to make sure water could pass beneath the road. While in Guilford, a tree limb that came down on some wires on Clapboard Hill Road had the bucket trucks extended. We'll have to watch how high the wind gusts are because it, the trucks really can't go in the air above. 30 mile an hour sustained winds. From the rural roads to the town center, where a large limb cracked on the town green, taking a few festive Halloween displays with it, as cars dealt with some minor street flooding caused by clogged storm drains. But hey, at least the hardy New Englanders took it all in stride. I don't really worry about losing power too much because we usually gain it back pretty quickly. I'm a little worried about my yard and my trees, but <laughs> losing power, but other than that, it's, you know, it's better than snow. <laughs> and by the way, if today's two to four inches of rain was snow, as Rachel was mentioning, we'd be talking about anywhere between 26 to 52 inches of it. And you might remember all the damage that the October snowstorm of 2011 caused. So we certainly don't want that again. And uh, both Eversource and UI told me that they're prioritizing outages first based on critical infrastructure. So we're talking about hospitals, nursing homes, firehouses, police departments, places like that that lose power. Then they do the large population centers going all the way to the rural uh, areas, even individual homes. We're live here on the Guilford Town Green. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.